This lesson is on cost accounting. With cost accounting, the statements are the production cost statement and the income statement, along with their notes, which are down here. So first off, with the production cost statement, you have your direct costs. This is your direct material costs and your direct labor costs. These can be or have their own notes, but often the calculation is just worked out in the brackets. Direct materials are materials that are used in directly making the goods that are sold, and they will specify which is direct and which is indirect. You would take your opening balance for this, plus any purchases, minus any returns, plus carriage and plus any custom duties, tax, anything like that, minus your closing balance. And that will give you the total amount for direct material costs used. Next is your direct labor costs. This is basically any wages that has to do with direct labor. It's the wages plus any contribution, contributions, such as UIF or medical aid. Then we move on to factory overhead costs. These have their own note over here. The first being indirect materials. Those are any other materials that are not used directly in making the good for sale. They would get, this would be calculated in the same way, opening plus purchases and any other carriage or duties, minus returns, minus closing, will give you your used indirect materials. Indirect labor, this refers to any factory workers who are not directly involved in making the goods. Depreciation, maintenance, rent, and water electricity, these going to be split up according to what is allocated for the factory, what is allocated for the office, and what will be allocated for something like a sales vehicle. Things to depreciation and maintenance, rent and electricity and water of the factory would go into factory overheads. They would probably give you a big amount for depreciation and then tell you that it's in the ratio one to two to three for factory office and sales for example and you'd have to split it up the same for maintenance rent and water electricity um that amount would be totaled and then written in factory overhead costs over here these will all then be totaled to get a total manufacturing cost over here you would then take your work in progress at the beginning of the year here and your work in progress at the, at the end of the year. It would be total manufacturing costs plus the beginning of the year minus at the end of the year and you will get your cost of production of finished goods over here. So I'll repeat that. It's total manufacturing costs plus work in progress at the beginning of the year minus work in progress at the end of the year to get your total cost of production of finished goods. Then we move on to the income statement. With this income statement, it's generally quite a basic income statement. You have your sales and cost of sales like normal, your gross profit, which is sales minus cost of sales, and then you have two other costs, selling and distribution and administration. So if we go to the notes, selling and distribution, it talks of Expenses that can be under this heading would be sales commission, rent, depreciation, and bad debts. Bad debts always goes into selling and distribution. And the others will be uh, sales and commission, sales commission will also always go in selling and distribution. But rent and depreciation will be split up amongst the factory and office as well. Administration, this has got to do with the office. So office rent, insurance, office expenses, and, and salaries and wages. Again, there will be things that will be split up and certain things will go to admin costs. You would then 
minus these two expenses from your gross profit to get your net profit. We then move on to your finished goods note. It's basically your opening stock plus cost of production of finished goods during the year minus closing stock. This will give you your cost of sales. It's also called cost of finished goods sold. So this amount over here, your cost of production of finished goods during the year is actually this amount from your production cost statement and your closing figure or your end amount here, your equals, will be your cost of sales, which can also be found in your income statement over here. Sometimes they don't give you certain figures and you have to use the finished goods um, note to calculate other um, figures. For example, cost of sales or cost of production of finished goods during the year. Generally, they don't want you to draw up this note. They would rather you use it to find another figure. And just to remember that a very common way to test this is to apportion out everything. So for factory, for office, and for selling and distribution, they'll apportion out water and electricity and rent, etc. So just remember to get your ratios or percentages calculated for the correct place. Um, and that is all for cost accounting.